All right, as we all start a new year, I think a lot of us parents want to make an effort to be the best parent we can be this year, right? Well, what if you have a child that is just outright defiant? In today's parenting guide, our resident psychologist Amy Trout is here to help. Good morning. Hi. Happy New Year. Thanks, you too. This is so true. I think we start out the new year, we want to spend, you know, more time with family, really kind of be the best parent we can be. But sometimes we're just presented with situations and certain chemistry within the family that it makes it pretty difficult to do that. One of those being a defiant children or a child. Yeah. How do you know if your child is, is maybe more of the extreme of being a defiant child? Well, you'll know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you have um, more than one kiddo in your house or if you've ever been around other kiddos and you kind of compare, um, the kid that, you know, gives you a hard time pretty much at any request, <laughs> you know? I mean, simple, simple as things. brushing teeth. Let's brush your teeth. Let's put on shoes. What do you want for breakfast? Let's eat. Everything is kind of a no or a power struggle. Starting at a young age, is, is this Starting something that's young. kind of in these children? Um, yeah. Very yeah. young. Yeah, really, really like self thinkers from a very young age. Kids that are listening to sort of their own way of mm -hmm. doing things, have their own ideas, and they can make parents really kind of feel like we're losing our minds. Mm -hmm. Old school parenting doesn't work, power struggles don't work, and so we end up sort of wringing our hands going, what are we doing? We're creating a monster. Yeah. But we're really not. Like these kids have a real gift. Well, and I was asking you too, I've, hear, I've heard this concept of this strong willed child, and I have yeah. kind of read some things that, hey, there is kind of a blessing in this if this is, are you seeing, you know, some of these traits? So you have some things. Let's get to this on how to deal with this defiant child. Yeah. So number one, you say stay positive. Right. So research shows that these kiddos actually tend to do very well comparatively to like the counterparts that are more compliant. I'm not saying like not to be compliant kids, but, <laughs> but as parents, when we're looking at, you know, our fears for our kiddos are that they're going to end up like, you know, choosing mm -hmm. the wrong path and really having problems in life. They typically overachieve academically and over earn. Not that that's our yeah. main goal for parenting our kids, but they're high achievers because they're listening to a different internal wisdom that, that maybe other kiddos who are more compliant socially um, aren't quite listening to. So these are the groundbreakers, Martin Luther King Jr.'s, the Mother Teresa's. These Steve are the Jobs. People, absolutely, that really kind of take an idea. They have the tenacity and the um, persistence to really stick with something that looks really outside of the box. So there's that potential in these in these kiddos that are really, really kind of... So parents, if you're watching this morning, remember that there is a blessing on the, un uh, the other end of this. You say, listen. Yeah, really work hard to get to know that kiddo. They think differently than most of us think. So if, if I wasn't a strong-willed child, and I have a strong-willed child, it can be very hard for me to understand where they're coming from. But if I take time to really listen to what they're about, they make a lot of sense. <laughs> I hate that it yeah, makes I know, sense, right? but it makes sense. And so they're, you know, well, I don't want to brush my teeth now because I'm going to eat, and then they feel dirty, and, uh, you know. Okay, well, how about you just brush them after you eat? What do you think? Okay, there's a solution. Instead of right when they wake up, does it really matter to me? No, I just want to check the mental box that I've asked my kid. Well, and that kind of goes into the next one, which is give choices. And this is, you know, we've talked about a lot about yeah. with you about kind of picking your battles. Right. Is it kind of going in with that as well? You know, there are some things that are going to be absolute non-negotiables. We, you know, you might be running late for a doctor's appointment. It's time to go now. There is no mm -hmm. banter over what time you put your shoes on. We get that. But you're going to get a lot less kickback on those times if your kiddo does feel like they're sort of respected and has the mm -hmm. right to make a couple of choices. You don't have to give 15. That's overwhelming. But two, mm -hmm. you know, you can brush your teeth now when you get up or after breakfast. I don't care as long as it gets done. You know, it, is it really a life or death thing? No, it's really yeah. not. And so that helps the kiddo feel more empowered, more respected, like th their voice mm -hmm. does matter. And so you get a little less resistance. This is, the bank. This is what yeah. we're banking on. When there are the times that there are, we got to go now, I'm yeah. sorry, it's crazy, put on your shoes, let's get out of the door. Okay, makes yeah. sense. As we close here, the last one, co-create solutions. What do you mean by that? Well, as you listen to your kiddo and you start to understand what this real struggle is about, it's not really always or necessarily ever about you and defying your authority. That's not why they're doing it's it. It can not, feel like that as a parent. Right, yeah. I mean, but with little ones, it's because they have their own ideas. So try to figure out what the problem is and what the solution could be for them. So what is it about putting on these shoes right now that, that's feeling bothersome to you? Well, those shoes rub my heel or whatever the thing yeah, is. Yeah, I know. Okay, how can we solve it? Should we get rid of these shoes? Do you want to pick a different pair? Do we yeah. need socks? What do we need to kind of make this work? 
Well, as we close here, I know the take home, what I'm getting from you, it can be a blessing. Just figure out, listen to the kid, yeah. figure out what they really need. As much as we're able to, we really, again, I, I feel like this is sort of my theme with every yeah. kiddo segment, but we really need to try to understand our kids well and work within those parameters as much as we can. There are going to be times, I'm not saying like, you know, everything is kid centered. It's not. There's yeah. going to be times kids have to go along with the program. Well, thank you for helping us along, Amy. Thanks. We need it. And we, of course, wish all the parents here in the new year a successful parent, a year of parenting. Yes. I know it can be a lot. Thank you, Amy. Thanks. We, of course, will put more info on our website as well, foxformorningblend.com. As you know, we always love hearing from our Morning Blend viewers, so be sure to connect with us through our social media sites. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Come check us out and say hello.